It's that time of the year again, the holidays are here and you probably have some shopping to do, even if it's last minute. There are a lot of gift guides out there and I want to approach this a little differently this year, instead of just recommending a pile of books you've seen me talk about multiple times, so hopefully you'll find something on my list. Keep in mind, none of these recommendations are sponsored, they're all just fun little choices of mine personally, and if you're curious, they're all linked down below for you. I've also got some good tips in here, especially for those who might be stuck not knowing what to get their bookish friend, so let's just kick it off with number one. We'll start small, you know, you might want to get them something cool, weird, and different, maybe kind of goofy, tacky, so at this point let's knock out some of the smaller knickknacks, cause there were a couple cute things that I really enjoyed. The first is this brilliant color changing mug, you know the kind of mug when you pour like a hot beverage in it the color changes or something appears. Well, here it starts off as a normal mug, featuring 25 classic horror books, and then it fades into a bit of a creepier design, with ghosts, a dark sky, even some details on the book spines change. I think this is a great simple gift for the horror reader in your life. Keep in mind there are plenty of artists creating bookish mugs on Etsy as well. There are so many to choose from, endless possibilities for whatever genre or a general bookish quote you're looking for. For the organized bookworm in your life, one thing I really liked is this book lover's journal. Especially if you missed out on Alcrate's reading journal that was in the November box, you can find one on Amazon to help record details of your reading experiences, and I really liked this one. It's hard to cover, there's book review pages, a TBR section, wish lists, you can track books you bought or borrowed, or even to keep track of the books you've lent out so you can get it back in one piece. I think it's a great stocking stuffer, and a book lover can never have too many journals, let's be honest. Another great stocking stuffer is this freaking adorable ceramic vase in the shape of a book. My god, if it had cheeks, I would squeeze them. The ceramic vase will add a literary charm to any room, you can use it as a flower vase, or fill it with pencils, pens, and other tools of the writer's trade, and it will sit perfectly on a writer's desk. This would also be a great storage for bookmarks as well. I mean, what better gift than something bookish to store your bookish things in? Also, if we're talking about organization, I also have this really cool tree bookshelf. It's a nine shelf bookcase rack. I just thought this was really cool. It looks like it doesn't take up a lot of space, but holds a decent amount of books. It's freestanding, so you don't have to bolt it to a wall. So maybe if you have a reader friend who lives in a small apartment and needs extra bookshelf space and is looking for just an aesthetically functional bookshelf, shelf, this is definitely something that's going to make a statement. And of course, it's worth pointing out, you can always give the gift of space, which is actually way more thoughtful than you'd think. The biggest thing I've seen here, the biggest hit, the biggest crowd pleaser, is to get someone you love a portable library a Kindle. I personally have the Kindle Paperwhite, which I adore and I carry with me everywhere, and the most recent one that released a couple years ago has two times the amount of storage. It will hold thousands of ebooks. You can basically fit every book you've ever wanted to download right here, right on the go. That friend will never forget you. You're welcome. You can also get the Kindle Oasis, which is the newest e-reader on the market. It has an adjustable warm light to shift screen green shade from white to amber, which closely resembles reading an actual book, like a worn out book. Also this particular device has an extra inch of space on the side where you can hold without disturbing the screen, and it also has buttons you can push to turn the page. This one is more expensive than the paper white, but I thought it was still worth mentioning with its additional features. But if you're still trying to find a cool gift for your physical book reader, why not get them an ultra bright page magnifier. This is a fantastic gift to give someone who may have trouble seeing and needs help reading smaller print. I definitely have abnormally smaller printed books on my shelves, and when I saw this, I thought, hey, that would be pretty convenient to have around. It's lightweight and easy to handle, the brightness level peaks at 720 lumens, the brightest on the market. These are LEDs, so they should last a very long time, so at just $20, 
this would for sure make the book lover in your life have an easier time doing what they love, and that is reading. Let's go ahead and talk about bookish subscription boxes. As someone who is a rep for one, I can't help but recommend them. They're great for readers who feel overwhelmed with trying to select a book to read. Sometimes there's just too many books and not enough time to read them all, and most book subscription boxes include one hot, fresh, new release for you to read with some additional items curated to match the theme for the box. I do have a coupon for Outcrate if this sounds like a great gift for someone in your life. It's Holly. It's always linked down below for you. Moving on, just buy them merch related to their favorite books. That's obvious. I'm not talking about t-shirts, Funko Pops, or posters. Think deeper. This is definitely something that some people seem like they don't have the time to stop and think about. Do you have a friend that has a favorite book series? Well, instead of buying them another copy of the book or even another action figure, go deeper. Maybe find handmade artwork on Etsy or Redbubble that you can buy and frame. These two websites are honestly your friend in this regard. You can always find amazing, unique, and sometimes rare stuff connected to your favorite book or series or fandom. Get something customized from bookmarks to plushies, book sleeves, clothing and cosplay stuff, to candles, to cookbooks. There's stuff for every type of person here, and you're supporting independent artists at the end of the day. It's worth diving deep and taking a look. And down to the last one, I want to state the obvious that sometimes people miss. Just ask the reader what they want. Too many people will get a book they don't want or have read, and damn it, it has to stop. Now, if you can't ask them exactly what they want, don't feel bad giving them a Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Books A Million gift card, or maybe an indie bookstore does gift cards as well. Buy them some books digitally, there's always Kindle deals going on around the holiday season. Maybe for next year's new releases, you can pre-order for somebody as a gift. I don't know, there's so much out there, but honestly, getting somebody a book they actually want it makes all the difference. But these are some that I'm recommending in 2020 for the holiday season or whatever year you're watching this video. Some tips that I hope actually really help you. More than anything, I would love to know in the comments what you're going to get your friends and family Family who read books. There's so much stuff out there and I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you got anything for me at all, be sure to hit me up on Twitter at Holly Neese and Instagram at Holly Hearts Books and show me your Christmas list there. I'd love to see what you're buying people or getting. If you enjoyed this video or maybe it helped you a little bit, clicking the like button is the best way you can help me out. I really appreciate that. And if you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because I put out new videos every single week and I'm not stopping until 2021. So until we meet again, happy reading.